Good evening and thanks for joining us. Three people are dead, including a local man and another person is clinging to life after they were buried in snow in Alberta and British Columbia this weekend. A father and son were killed Saturday after getting caught in an avalanche near Lake Louise. Meanwhile, a 36-year-old man from Lloydminster, Saskatchewan, died of injuries he suffered Friday night when he was buried by an avalanche while snowmobiling near Red Sand Mountain. The man's name has not been released and a 38-year-old Calgary man is in critical condition after he was caught in a snowslide while skiing in Alberta's Banff National Park. And back to local news, it was non-stop hockey for the Frog Lake community this weekend. The Frog Lake T-Birds held a 24-hour event of playing hockey to support the Stollery Children's Hospital Foundation. Organizers say 116 players were registered to take to the ice from pre-novice to old-timers and more than $25,000 was raised. William Quinney, the main organizer, says the event brought the whole community of Frog Lake together and taught the young people valuable lessons. They're teaching the kids the, the appreciation for what they have and knowing that now they know that the, that there are sick kids out there that don't have this these opportunities because of an illness, cancer. This was the first annual 24-hour day of hockey and Quinney says they plan to do it again next year. It was a sea of green at the Stockade Convention Centre last night for the 6th Annual Irish Pub Night. The event held by the Border City Rotary Club has fundraised for the Lloydminster Community Youth Centre for the past three years and the organization says this will be their last. Youth is the backbone and uh, there's a, they have a lot of needs so we're here to support them. It's a place for kids to go where there's a structured safe place where they can go and have fun, relax, kick back when they don't have other options. Uh, they're going to be a major contributor to the capital output going into the new building which is primarily the gymnasium we'll be building onto the new facility. Approximately 600 people attended the Irish pub night. They were hoping to raise $50,000. You are what you eat. It's an age-old saying that doesn't seem to be dying out. Now here in the Border City, Holy Rosary High School takes healthy eating seriously. And not just in March as it is National Nutrition Month rather, but throughout the entire year. And cannot fade reports. It's home economic class and the students aren't just making mac and cheese. No, they're fixing some pretty classy dishes. Stuffed mushroom caps with crab meat and we're doing coconut shrimp and scallops wrapped in bacon. The instructor says it's all part of teaching them how to cook healthy from scratch. The program has been a part of this school for more than five years but has intensified lately. We teach cooking in five periods a day, five out of five. We get a lot of kids coming in, a lot of kids, you know, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10 kids. Many of them have no skills because mom and dad, um, they might have a really beautiful kitchen. They don't, maybe don't have, you know, trust the kids to cook at home a little bit. Or maybe mom and dad don't even cook a lot at home. Now they cook desserts as well and learn how to use a deep fryer. But Lucas says making those foods, such as french fries, are seen as a treat. You can't completely rule out choice but you want to steer them in making good choices. And you may have to toss some either cornmeal underneath, well not cornmeal, probably just a little flour. And he believes cooking your own food is a good pattern for life for young people to get into now. Plus it saves them money if they don't have to have somebody else doing all, you know, everything for them all the time. This grade 12 student has a big appetite and says eating healthy helps him stay full. Surprisingly, eating healthy is really good and it fills you up way faster than eating junk food and other greasy stuff. And it just, you get pimples and it's just nasty. Girls won't like it. For me, it was an improvement. I have more energy, I can think, I can concentrate. Like it's just, it makes a difference. Like you can really tell. Anna Kanafate, New Cap News. The Grizzly couple had an extra surprise on their way home from a road trip to Edmonton. Steve and Leanne Livingston stopped for gas in Lloydminster after scanning the ticket for the February 8th draw. Now they found out their Lotto 649 ticket had made them $100,000 richer. The couple plans to use the money to pay off some bills and plan for a holiday.